to see you guys we're gonna get nailed for using the youtube <laughs> <laughs> youtube version of that they won't song. show our they won't show our, our video our like hey Patricia they won't show our live videos in like Zimbabwe and stuff because it has we're so it. sorry if you're so in Zimbabwe far. and you can't see this video anyway listen this is for the few people who join us hey, Rita. hey guys it's nice to see you guys Ciao. so this is only if you want to get a little bit happier today. Yes, sunny in Maine sunny today. In Maine. Wow. But it's and hot, like, the snow is like eight feet high, right? Yeah, it's melting. It's melted the snow. You know, jets land on the runways in Maine and they disappear. Really? Right? So what happens is because the snow is like 12 feet high because they pile it up, so the airplanes just disappear. It looks like they disappeared. And then they, <laughs> they come out of nowhere. That's Maine. Magic. So welcome to, from, welcome to Maine. Wow. Olya and Linda. Nice to see you guys. This is Friday. So it's happy Friday. It's a beautiful day. We wanted to talk about, you know, when you wake up in the morning and you're going, Friday, it's I'm gonna Friday, I'm going to have a great day. And then what happens, <laughs> whack, whack, Martino? Whack, whack. You look at yourself in the mirror and you're like, ah, oh, I got a pimple. I got too many wrinkles. I got a new wrinkle. Oh, oh my God. God. A new wrinkle. It's going to be a shitty day. And then, but that's okay because you see the wrinkle and you're just kind of like, ah, it's okay. I'm still going to have a good day. Yeah, it's going to be a good day. Okay, but just then up. your coffee tastes a little burnt. <laughs> you're just like, ah. Oh. Coffee tastes like shit. Oh, it's, oh man. And you're like, oh, but it's okay. I'm still going to have a good I'm, day. There's hope. I haven't got out the door yet. And you walk out the door. You go out the door and you say hi to someone and they don't say hi back. And you're like, oh. They're what all a, grumpy. What a, what a, what a beep. And then, uh, but it's okay. <laughs> We're still gonna have a good day. Then you get finally get to work. And your By boss that time, you've had like twelve like small incidents, just little ones, <laughs> slightly not perfect, beautiful day type incidents. And you open your email, and it's an email from your boss, and he's yelling like, at you. This guy, you screwed up yesterday. And you go through Famous your whole Alec. day like this, and you you get home, and you're just you're wasted. You're de-energized. You're you've had it, and then you go to sleep, and you wake up the next day. To, Try it again. And I think having a good day has become like trying not to have a shitty day. It's right. really what it's become. <laughs> <laughs> not for everybody. I mean, you know. No, no, no. I'm okay, kidding. Genius. So listen, so the, the whole thing is, is to remind you that shit happens, which we've talked about before. Right? Shit. But, you know, if you just keep putting it there that it's going to be a beautiful day and, you know, you know. One of my favorite, one of my favorite little stories from uh, Mr. Hubbard was, he goes, you know, you walk into work and, you know, you're kind of new and you smile at the boss, you say hi, and he goes, hmm, and you you'll, you'll go, oh no, am I in trouble? It's your first day, second day, and then you say hi to him again, and he goes, hmm, and then you say hi to him again, he completely ignores you. Now what happens is, most, most people kind of go, ooh, is there something wrong inside. with me? They go inside. So they, go in, they, they look inside. And then they worry. And they worry about, oh, no, this, you know, maybe, should, I, should I have taken this job? I mean, the boss must hate me. And most people think, I'm going to stop saying hi to him because it's, well, most sad, it people like do. it's annoying. Most people stop saying hello and they start going around the boss so they don't have to look at him because he might yell, growl at him. The truth is... Whether it takes 10 days or 20 days or 100 days, it doesn't matter. What you have to remember is this. Don't change yourself. Don't look inside. Look outside. And remember, some people you got to say hi to 100 times before they go, what's your name? How long have you been working here? Look, true story, at the Naval Academy, mm. the, the summer was kind of rough. Like you go there and you're a shiny, young, 18-year-old kid, and you're like, oh, I'm at the Naval Academy. And people are yelling at you every day. And I went, I'm going to just disappear. So I kind of like settled back into the wall and like you know, almost yeah, camouflaged there, myself. Yeah. And so for the 45 days, the, the senior officers didn't even know I existed. And one day I showed up to the table and the guy goes, who are you? And I said, I'm Midshipman Mathers, fourth class, sir. And he goes, what company are you? And I said, I'm in your company, sir. He goes, oh, my God. <laughs> This is after 45 days of looking at this guy, yelling at people, and somehow I was able to kind of not communicate so effectively, I disappeared. For a month and a half. Yeah, and then finally, man, he grilled me. But, you know, then I, I realized 
You just got to be tough. Life is going to throw shit at you in a lot of different ways and a lot of bad news and all kinds of different things. And no matter what's happening, you still have to take care of yourself, right? You, you got to make sure you're mentally prepared for whatever happens because no matter what's happening, you still have to do whatever it is you do every day and do it to the best of your ability. So you might as well have fun doing it no matter what. And having fun means being interested in other people. I think that's a key point is like if you're doing something that you enjoy doing and that's important to you, then all the little crap that happens throughout the day, because that's going to happen anyways, then it doesn't affect yeah. you. It doesn't affect you because it's like, yeah, okay, fine. But then you go back to work or you go back to doing what you were doing that you really love doing. Yeah. And it doesn't matter. When you love doing something, you can pour as much energy as you want into something. It's never going to feel like you're drained because it's like you're – it's rewarding. It's giving back to you whatever you throw into it. Now, if you're doing something that sucks and you're doing something just that because it's a job and you're just trying to get money out at the end of the month, you're going to drudge through that and you're going to get home every day and you're just going to want to just and plop on the couch yeah, and no. watch a movie and fall asleep. And, and you're going to say shit happens every day. So you gotta, you got to do something you love and also – just sometimes you gotta just change your attitude. Just go in there. Don't care what anybody says to you. Don't care. No, never, never, never look in and go. Oh, there's something wrong with me. Mm -mm, there's no, no. nothing wrong with you. You gotta start out the day saying, I, I am doing the best I can. I'm good at what I do. Whatever it is. I mean, it doesn't matter if you're flipping burgers or fixing cars or flying airplanes. You're good at what you do, and you gotta go in there and just start owning the space around you. And I mean, like the whole building you're in. Own it. Like, wow, this is my company. You don't have to be the owner of the company to say, this is my company. I own this space. I'm important. I have something to do here. I have something to contribute. And then look around. And what you're going to find, if you really get out, get out of your head and get into your space, you start looking around seeing other people are going, oh, I wonder if Jim is mad at me. I wonder if Martino's mad at me. And we're going, I haven't even talked to you. How can I be mad at you? What a... I mean, I've had, I've had employees, they go, well, I thought you were mad at me. I'm going, for what? They said, well, you ignored me one day. And I'm going, oh, my God. You got to be careful. I, I'll tell careful. you what. When you start going out and breathing life into people, which all you got to do is look at them, wink, smile, notice them. Say something nice them, to them. Say something nice. Hey, Asia. So you, you just have to keep looking out into the space around you and you'll start to see other people need to be kind of coaxed out saying hey look at look at what do you, what's why what's going on why do you look like you're you, you know what's happening they go out and then they tell you they got really bad news and you, when was it three weeks ago oh my god they're sitting in bad news for three weeks miserable and nobody noticed that sucks so you be the one that notices you go out and i'm telling you own the space just look as far as you can see and say, it's mine. That's my space. Do you know that when I fly an airplane, do you know what I do? Mm -mm. I treat every airplane as, as, as if it was my private plane. Not that I'm rude, but I literally walk up and I look out. I go, there's my plane. I come to the gate. There's my plane. Oh, there's, there's my flight attendants. There's the people who are going to help me have a good flight. And I walk in the plane. I smile at the flight attendants. I go, hey, thank you. I look at the pilot. I go, hey, you know, good to see you. I'm like thinking to myself, hey, thanks for flying me to my, my place. And then I look at the rest of the people flying. I said, well, here's my friends who are joining me. So I got a big private plane with a lot of people on it. I own it. So when I'm on a plane, I'm in the whole space. And now I have friends that go, Jim, can you fly with me? And I go, well, I'm not really with you. They said, it doesn't matter. If, you, if I know that you know that I'm leaving at this time on this day, I'll know you're with me. I go, okay, I've done it. And my friends who are afraid to fly then go, oh. I'm not so afraid. I, I got safely to Australia 24 hours in the air. So own it. Own your life. Own the people around you. Just put yourself out there and remember, you are awesome. That is the truth. You are amazing. You do have skills. You are good. Don't change anything about yourself. Martina don't, reminds me every day. Don't ever look inside and go, is there something wrong with me? You no. can learn and you can improve, but don't go inside and start nullifying yourself and thinking Never you're beat not yourself good up. enough. No way. And That's if something bad happens, don't instantly go, oh, God, what did I do? No, stop, stop, please. If something bad happens, something bad happens. Look at it 
If you got a fix, you got a flat a flat tire, fix it. Don't go. Oh no, I got a flat tire. I'm going to lose my deals today, or I'm going to, you know, oh my God, what else bad is going to happen? And there are bad things come in threes or sixes or top nines. I mean, people have different <laughs> sayings at the different parts of the world. People, in bad things come in threes. Shit, man. Oh my God. Eleven more bad things. Shit's going to happen all day long. No, listen, just change your mind and get out of your head. Look around at other people and find out how you can help them. And it doesn't mean giving people money, it means giving them your attention, which is actually more valuable than your money. Wouldn't you say? Yeah, 100%. Yes, we are awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Picture. She's a dancer, she's awesome. So you guys are incredible. And remember that, and it's Friday. Well, it's Friday. Some Friday, parts of the world, it's already places. Saturday morning. Really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, it's one o'clock in the morning in Taiwan. Ah, there we no, go. No, two thirty. So, all right. If you're in Taiwan, happy Saturday. If you're in, in this hemisphere, happy Friday. Anything else you want to add, Austin? Awesome no, on? no. Have a good, good rest of your day. If you're already mid the day, and if shit happens, ignore it, fix it, but don't let it get you down. And if for oh, whatever thanks, reason, Gwendolyn, you're so amazing. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and if for whatever reason you had a little bit of a shitty day or things happened, just. Change your mind about it and start having a good day again. And it's a beautiful day. So, there we go. This song again to end our lives. Here we go. Wait for it. It's a beautiful day.